And my guest uh, in the second segment is Dan Eckberg, who's the director of the local SCORE chapter here in central Massachusetts. And last year, SCORE celebrated uh, their 50th anniversary. And I'm going to let Dan do, do most of the talking in terms of uh, letting our viewers who don't have an uh, understanding what SCORE is all about. But SCORE is an organization of, of, of business leaders or retired executives who work uh, with the SBA, the U.S. Small Business Administration, a resource of that, that work in mentoring businesses that are looking to, or people looking to start a business. Uh, is that a good description, Dan? It's excellent, Tim. Or, or baseline description. I'm going to let you get no, into the that's details. that's a great description. I think that, um, you know, we're, we wanted to be a part of this because we want to be part of the awareness of the community. Uh, there's many resources in Worcester County. Uh, alliances, education, uh, and the chamber sort of is pulling that all together through Running Start and the higher education initiatives, entrepreneurial pitch contest. But back to the to a score, uh, celebrated the 50th year so, uh, last year, and the SBA had uh, when they got started, they were trying to give people money to get the economy going and so forth and. Uh, what they found out is that they didn't have as many success stories as they'd like. So they started this organization uh, basically to help people with business plans and finances right. and those kinds of things. And so we say SBA, you know, United States Small Business Association, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, part of the federal government, our tax dollars. But the whole idea is to try to, you know, help grow, create and grow businesses or assist people who have ideas. Right. And, I, and I think your story is a good example of the quality and the caliber of the type of people that work that, that, that assist or volunteer for SCORE. You're a retired executive from Norton Company, St. Cobain. Yes, I am. Uh, and it's one of those things where you hear about other, uh, and I, how I got involved is I've heard about other people that were involved a long time ago. It's because it was a kind of a tradition. Uh, and when I looked at the organization, one of the things about it, uh, SCORE is that there's a lot of content, you know, over 50 years. So now it used to be in books, now it's on the internet. So templates and questions and videos. So it's rich in, very rich in, in content. Uh, in Worcester County, we operate in all the chamber offices. Uh, we also uh, do mentoring at the Worcester Public Library in the evenings, because not everybody can right. make it during the week. Uh, we do, uh, sessions at uh, mentoring sessions at running start as well so we're trying to ad ad adapt actually uh, to the way it is today so uh, I have a business idea I'm thinking about starting a business I don't know where to start uh, score how do I access it and then maybe you could walk uh, our, our, our viewers through how you might work with a, a someone in a situation like that we can role play a little bit yeah Tim what's your idea uh, I want to create a uh, real estate development company. Great, that's really great. So uh, can you detail that a little bit? And we would ask you for basically to expand the concept and tell us what, you're, what the size you're trying to be, what, it, what market you're gonna be in. Uh, and the <clears throat> after registering uh, through uh, the SBA, through the uh, SCORE site and through SBA, uh, we would look for somebody that has real estate expertise. So you wouldn't be taking somebody who's an executive maybe in retail and manufacturing and saying, pair up with them. You want to get a match with someone right. who understands it. Right, and, and I think that's important because we have the capability with 11,000 volunteers nationally mm -hmm. to go from your uh, healthcare, uh, you know, the basic healthcare, uh, your, uh, you know, your primary care physician, right to go into your surgeon. Right, right. So if we don't have the expertise in something that you, we can uh, get somebody to be an email mentor from anywhere in the country, mm -hmm. uh, we can Skype uh, and we can do face-to-face. -face. So you're using the technology we're, as we're well. We're trying, we're, we're, we're ramping up as best we can. Uh, but we wanna make sure uh, in the, the initial opening of all these, whether it's somebody that's not really clear whether they want to be an entrepreneur or get into a business, the questions are still the same. What is it that you're trying to do mm -hmm. and how can we help you? Right. Uh, and 
the, uh, the, we assist people, we don't do the work. Right. So in fact, when we finish the session, uh, it's incumbent generally on the client to fill out the, you know, the work plan and so forth and so on. So uh, in some instances, uh, in very few instances, it's one-off type meetings uh, and people sometimes delay or they, they change their timing. Uh, but in other cases, it is, uh, we're part of the family. Right. So we can be a confidant. So your office is, you know, is, you share, have an office at the chamber. I mean, I've seen repeat people come in multiple times to kind of, you know, mm. month, on a monthly basis, weekly basis, meet with you or others to kind of check the box or where you are in milestones, answer questions, right. Right. give advice. And, and people uh, that are, uh, as was mentioned about starting uh, the, the tax guru, yes. starting it in your basement, it's lonely there. Yeah. And, and and when you want to have a meeting, sometimes, you know, you know, you just need some prep work. You need some help. You, know, you need to be able to present the idea differently and better. Uh, so it, it is a very exciting time in Worcester because I think that there is a a lot of energy and a lot of things are being connected between all the resources. And I see that every day. Uh, and we, quite frankly. Uh, we're not only recruiting clients because we don't have to recruit them anymore. Right, right. We'd like to see some uh, industry leaders, some local people with some expertise step up and, and assist us as well. You know, our so if someone wants to be a, a SCORE volunteer, what do they need to do? They, they need to call uh, SCORE uh, or call myself. Uh, or you. That number, uh, your number, our number. Yeah, your number. 508-753-2924. 508-753-2924. Right. Business leader, retired or active, you want to help mentor, guide, get involved. Right. And, it's, and, it, and the more uh, people that we have, the broader that we get. You know, we just been, we have a, a skill set that we're recruiting to. So we just got some people on digital marketing, social marketing, uh, internet. You know, we're trying to get current. Uh, so we have people that are uh, in in our chapter from age 30 to age 85. Right, right. So we have uh, we go from the serial entrepreneur uh, Merv Weish, yeah. who started BJ's, down to a graduate student that has technology help. So mm -hmm. uh, there's something for everybody. And we, our commitment is, is that you can tell us how many hours a week or month you want to work, and we put people in the spots. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So that's how it kind of works. And, and some of the things, whether it be just the, the basics of uh, uh, writing and preparing a, a business plan to guidance that you guys can give on accessing financing, HR, so really uh, kind of a, a, a resource that uh, people can turn to on any number of issues. Right. And, and uh, we have some market specific things as well. I mean, we have uh, had the Retailer uh, Award of the Year right. uh, for many years. And Joe Cohen, Retailer of the Year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Rotman's, I mean, number yeah. one in New England. And um, we want to make sure that we recognize. And I think that the follow on uh, part to this uh, would be having some of the, the stories, the, mm -hmm. the people that have, that have gone th broken through. Right. You know, we look back and we look at the national people like uh, Ben and Jerry's, Staples right here in, mm -hmm. in uh, Massachusetts. But there are a lot of people. Last year, uh, we, we try to gauge what our employment is and we believe that about 2,300 people were put to work through this program in central Massachusetts. Now, that's, that's you know, big stuff and uh, you know certainly we, the big large businesses are hugely important and get a lot of time and attention but when you look at where most of the workforce is employed it's in small businesses and they'll start you know with an idea in a basement uh, with with a uh, score executive and uh, as a mentor working it through so uh, we, we are excited to have this ongoing relationship and partnership with the chamber uh, Dan and appreciate you for taking the lead of being the director of the, the, the Central Mass branch of SCORE and uh, look forward to have you back and maybe we can bring yeah. on somebody who's participated and been that success story so we can make it real. We will. All right. We indeed. Thank you very much. Well, uh, look forward. I want to thank Dan Eckberg for, for being with us.